everyone. Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and it is Sunday afternoon. And I'm just waiting for people to come in. And if you're watching the recording, this is a live stream talking to people in the chat. So today we're going to play with some gouache, I think, and some distress oxides. So, hey, Patty. Hi, Joan. <laughs> All right, so, so I have a couple things to share first before we get going, and we are going to do a little swatching, so if you're watching the recording and you don't see, want to see the squat, swatching of the um, paints, then just fast forward. <laughs> All right, so look at this. Isn't this one cool? I got this off the internet. Probably better, better if you see it in white. Now, why is it my... Why am I not, uh, am I frozen? Let me see, why is this not moving? It's very slow. Are you out there? Hello? <laughs> What's going on? I'm like frozen here, hold on. Yo, hi, Dar. Gail? Oh, there we are, I was frozen there for a second, AJ. Um. Any thoughts coming in? Let's see, I have a couple things to show, share, and then we are going to do some swatching. I'm trying to look for my other uh, envelope in here. Hold on. There we are. Not for you, you're good. Okay, good. I don't know why. Hi, I'm Eileen. <laughs> Linda, welcome, everyone. All right, so I'm going to put all this stuff to the side first. Hopefully, we're going to do something with this image. We'll see how it goes. I have like a thousand things I want to put in here, <laughs> and we're not going to finish this page today, that's for sure. So let's see. So we are going to play with um, the squash. I actually got the Liquitex because um, I'm doing a class with Tony Burke, and um, she suggested the Liquitex. And then when I went to my art store, he said that actually the whole bind was much better than liquid. So we are going to swatch these a little bit and see. So first thing I want to share with you, if you're on Twitter, I know a lot of you are not on Twitter. Dar, she's in the chat, I think, shared um, where she gets some of her napkins. So I did wind up getting um, these napkins. Uh, let's see, this is from, let's see. Did she give me a card? No. No card? Hi, Terry. Let's see what her. She gave two different places that did the. Uh, I can't believe she doesn't have a thing with her. Um, nothing with her Etsy name. She didn't even send a card. Dar, you know which one this one is? This Nikki? I don't know who this one is. I don't know. Hope you enjoy Julie. So maybe she can tell you who it is because I can't believe she doesn't have a card. Nope, no card. I did get a couple of napkins. Like not even here in the beginning. That's my address. Does it say? Doesn't say who she is. Anyway, she's on Etsy. <laughs> so I did get the, I'll show you them real quick. I did get the butterfly one. I only got one of those. I did get the zebra. You guys know I love zebras. So I want to get two of those. Gabby loves a French bulldog, so I wound up getting that one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I'll have to open this one up. So let's do a page with this. Minnie's napkins. Thank you, Dora. I wonder why she didn't put a card in there. Like, you know, I would, uh, here we go. And then there was another one that she suggested, but I didn't, I didn't see anything there that I liked, but I did like hers. So that was that one, French Bull. So she says it's the Ninnies uh, napkins on Etsy. I got one of those. And then I'm going to Ireland in May. So I had to get one of those. <laughs> I'm actually, we planned on going because Jimmy has some relatives and stuff that he wants to uh, look up there, his family tree. And then I'm also doing a retreat with, uh, with Jane. So they'll tour first for a little bit and then he'll go home and then I will stay and do Jane's retreat in Ireland. So I'm very excited for that. 
I've been getting some books too, so that I could try to make like a little tip journal. Cajun Sunshine, welcome. Welcome anybody that's new. I know I have a couple new YouTubers, so appreciate that on YouTube. Thank you for watching the recording. Um, so I had that to share. And then for those of you who, I don't know if we'll use the quill pen today. I did get the quill. I have just two of them. I have this one's the standard. And then I got, um, have you been there, Gail? <laughs> Do it, Claire. <laughs> That's true, Eileen. <laughs> well, it just happened to work out because we did want to go to Ireland. And so she is going to be treat, uh, doing her retreat in Ireland. So, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you this for you guys who all are falling into the uh, foil quill pen. You can get this. I'll show you. I got these off of Amazon. So, Patty, you'll need one of these. <laughs> So this is a, it says a utensil rest, and it's all made out of silicone. This is really for your kitchen. So you can see that there. <laughs> uh, and then, let's see. So it actually holds your quill. So that's silicone like that. And then let me see if I take this out. And scissors. Ooh, no, I don't. There we go. So it's not going to fit this big barrel part here, but it fits down in here. So you can rest your your pens, or actually this way, if you the hot tip like this. So you can rest your pens like that. Let's use it. Uh, do you have to plug the quill into a computer? No, I actually I have one of these little chargers. So I'm just going to um, actually do that. If we get to do it, um, it only takes, I think, what, like five minutes to do. So if we get to that point today, <laughs> we'll try that. So there's that. And then let's see. So here, if in case you want to look at it on uh, Amazon, the number is X0023EAB2J. But actually, if you just look this, utensil rest. For kitchens, you should be able to find it. Hi, Colleen. Look, you need one of these. It'll hold your quill pen. And then if you don't want to get one of those big ones, there's this one. You see this one? It says adhesive clips for pens. So it comes like this in this little bag. And it's just a small one. And it has the adhesive. So if you want to stick it, you know, in the back here, it's got like double-sided tape. So that you could stick it here and then stick it somewhere else. But your pen will also fit on that. So if you don't want this big thing on your desk and you just want to hold on to that, that will also fit in there, just like that. Do I have it? Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> so, hi, Patty Patty. Hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> I'm showing, I'm showing to those who've got the quill pen that they need one of these. <laughs> This that goes in there like that if you want to, so you're not it's just not left on your table or it's poking something else. I don't know if we'll get time to do that today, <laughs> we'll see. Just doing a little enabling <laughs> for those of you who would like to uh do that. Put that down there, and then um, let's see what else did I have to show you. What well, was that? The quill pen, yes, I'll keep one of those on the side there. We're going to play with um, squash. I have my distress oxides. I think I'm going to use that on the page, but I um, want to try these. Um, my guy that I got art store, he said that the whole vine is the best. So I did get th these because I'm taking um, Tony uh, Burke's class. It's um, sketching little buildings. So we are going to swatch those first. So let me get my pad here. And I got one of these, the beige uh, pre uh, sketchbook. It's uh, mixed media paper, the tone one. So I'm end up getting that. So we're going to swatch it on this. That's what she wants to use in the class. And it does look really nice on the tone paper. So. That. And like I said, if you're watching the recording, just fast forward if you're not interested in 
the swatchy part. Is that Kimberly? All right. So I'm actually going to do just what I have so that we could, I'm not going to swatch them all. I just want to compare the, um, the ones that I have so we could see if the whole bind really is better. So I just got this little one. So I have the blue that we can, blue and the pink. So we're just going to swatch these two, the blue and the pink for now, because that's the only ones that I have. So this one is metallic blue. This is the primary blue. And then this is a bright pink. So we'll see which one is better. Janet, hi, Elaine. I'm drawing watercolor and new stuff. Everything is trying. <laughs> a lot to choose from it is. Hold the large utensil. Oh, the skew up again? Yes, I will. Hold on. I'll read it to you. So it's this one. It says the Zule Kitchen, um, and it's X zero zero two three E A B two J. It's just a silicone um, kitchen uh, utility rest. So looks just like that. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. Um, so let's get a brush. I can only use this big one. I use a smaller one. So remember last year we did the mermaid. I was going to look for the book, but I think it's upstairs, the book. And we did the skeleton with the acetate. So I kind of want to do something like that. All right. So let's see. Let's take this off. So this is neon pink. It doesn't show up as bright as it probably should on camera. I can open it. My hands are pretty bad this week, so we'll see. I can get it. Ugh opened. So this one is, we'll do the Liquitex on one side. So put Liquitex here and the Holbein here. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to peel this all off because oh, my hands are just like too bad. I just have to dig in here. All right. So that's pretty bright. So let's see now. So that's the, this one is called fluorescent opera pink. And this one is just pink. So we'll see. Oh, it's not really the same pink. It's much lighter. And I don't have another pink in that. So we'll, we'll, feel, we'll show it better with the blue. Draw black. Oh, okay. Definitely. Yes, I will. Uh, black line. Let's see. Do it again. And then we'll do the blues. Probably should be thicker than that, huh? There we go. So here's the pink. Pretty opaque. See that there. If I put it, we'll let it dry and then put another one. You probably could cover up the whole. Um, the whole thing. But it looks really nice on the tone paper. All right, let's go back and do the pink again. And then you can water it down. You can water it down so it's actually like watercolor too. That's the nice thing about the gouache. You could use it as paint or watercolor. So I'll, I'll do part that looks like it's watercolor as well. I'll water it down. Although fluorescent pink is not. Look at that. Fluorescent pink, you can see right through that. See that? 
You can see right through that, the fluorescent pink. All right. <laughs> You're not buying it. So let's see how to water it down. And you can, you can just water it down and it's just like um, watercolor. So there you go, you can see that there. And it's hard to tell too, because remember this is tone paper, not really white. All right, let's see the blues. The blues will have a better comparison because this is actual primary blue and this is primary blue, so. <laughs> I should have had Jimmy open these before for me. Oh, here, this one's a lot easier. All right, so here's the blue. Oh, this one is transparent too. So look at that. So I wonder if it's the Liquitex that's transparent, but the whole binds are more solid. Get rid of that. So you could still see the black through there. <laughs> Maybe, Joan? Yeah. All right. So let's add some water to that. So there you can see if you wanted to make it more like a watercolor. There you go. <laughs> All right, and so now we'll combine the uh, whole bind and see what that looks like. Yeah, the whole bind one is a lot thicker. The other one seems very um, thin. So there you can see the whole bind one there. It's a lot darker. And then if we want to make it more like a watercolor. I actually like this blue a lot better. I think he's right. The whole binds a lot. I don't know if it's hard to tell. I don't have any white paper. Any white. Let's try it on white. Let's see if I can get some white. Um, third color paper. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this will work. So that's just on the blue. So let's see. I mean, that's on the tone paper. So let's see. I definitely think the whole bind is much better. Of course, it's more expensive too. <laughs> There they can see now, you can see how much brighter that is. And then if you want to make it more like a watercolor. You can do, you can just lighten it up there. And thin it out. But yeah, look how pretty that is. That's pretty. <laughs> All right, so that is the whole line. So we're not going to paint with those today. I'm surprised. Look how uh, much thicker that one is. Yeah. So even when it's dried, you can see you can hardly see the black line. And look how transparent the Liquitex one is. Same here. Much darker and very transparent on there. So. All right. So that is the gouache, which we'll probably play with, but not today. So let me just put those away and we can get to our page. Yeah, the whole binding looks a lot better. Well, good thing I only bought those really small bottles and these. This is like just the basic set and it's a lot smaller. I'm kind of glad I did. <laughs> Away. 
is I want to do a kind of a Halloween page. So I took out my Destruct Softy sides. I took out Faded Jeans, Wilted Violet, Black Soot, and Twisted Citron. So now where is my book? This looks like it states, oh, um, on the label, let me see. Let's see. Uh, primaries, mostly high pigmented uh, with a solid flat matte finish. So intense colors, no brush strokes, no cracking, no need to dilute. Has all the, the qualities of convenient squash with the permanency, stability, and duration of acrylics. Doesn't really say, but I could see. Nope, doesn't really say. So I'll have to ask that when I go back. All right. So what I've done is, have you seen, you've, I'm sure you've seen, hi, Carrie Ann. <laughs> You've seen uh, Julie Faye Van Bolzer, how she cuts her pages and um, does all those um, so that you can see through it. So that's what I want to do with that. When we're not, I was hoping to do it last night and I didn't get a chance to do it. So we would be able to work on our page and then you'd be able to see through and see the uh, spider web. So, and I don't know what I'm going to put on this side. I'm thinking that I'm going to either put trace this skeleton you can't really see uh can i see it i'm gonna just hold it up here trace the skeleton on the bottom here and then have this whole page either with another web or something i don't know but so that you can have these two pages see through each other and then this would look cute at the bottom of this spider web here can you see that there so so this was a uh, stencil that joan had gifted me so either I'm going to, and so that's where I put that one. So either I might do both pages with the spider web, maybe put one opposite so they're not looking in the same spot. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to um, cut all these out and then this all will be black. And then you'll see the spider web through our page here. So the thing is you have to do this page and then this page you have to hold up. And... And this page. So these two will be the two cutout pages, but this page and this page will be the ones that connect with each other. So let me see if I, I don't really know why my camera is like way over. Let's see if I can fix this. Move this. There we go. That's better. Let me get this out of the way. And then I had punched some of these spiders that I might. I might put some of these spiders on here. So this is just cut out of um, like glitter paper. Can you see that? Can you see the glitter on there? Yeah, there's a glitter paper. You could put rock stickle candy on here and make it look like it's kind of hairy. It's, it's pretty good, the rock candy stickles. All right. So we're going to close this page and we're going to work on... It's going to be tricky because... I'm wondering if, if I should take this page out and then put it back in. That's what I might do. So then we'll work on, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take the cutout pages out and then I'll put them back in. So what do I need? I need a knife. And I can't find my X-Acto knife. So let's see if I can just pull this out. Paul is not watching. I don't, oh, I don't have my knife. Uh, don't this do it. Don't do as I say. I mean, don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> Whatever the saying is. Because you don't want to be careful not to cut your threads. All right, let's see if that'll work. Do I have a ruler? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't want, I didn't want to traumatize Eileen, but yes, I'll pull it out. <laughs> Sorry, Eileen.
ah, the pages are so thick that I really wanted to cut them with a knife. Oh, I'm going to ruin it. Let me see. I have to come in here deeper. Again. It doesn't help, like I said, my hands aren't that great this week. I'm making you a little nervous. Don't be Janet. There we go. It'll be easier for me to cut to now that it's not in the book. So when I cut this all out, I'll now paint it black. I can actually probably now paint this side black and then cut it out so that I don't have to worry about it. But we'll see. Anyway, that's the plan for that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to, I'm wondering if I should gesso my page either too. I think I might gesso it. So let's get some gesso. <laughs> watching learning <laughs> you could put it back then that's true all right so I'm going to use this bigger brush for my gesso just give it a quick It doesn't have to be perfect, so. No <laughs> rulers were harmed to making this page very true. So I'm going to tell you um, for the next couple of weeks, I won't, I'm not sure if I'll stream next uh, week is my birthday weekend. So we'll see. Um, but I would like to finish this page. So maybe I'll try to come on maybe like during a week or something, or maybe on Saturday. We'll see. Um, and then the following week I'll be in Canada taking um, Art by Marlene's class. And then the following, so I know those, that week I won't be here. That's the week of the 27th. Hi, Shauna. Um, I won't be here. And then the following weekend, I have to be up at Gabby's. So that's the November, November 3rd, I think. So we'll see. So we'll have to play it by ear. Um, either I'll try to come on during the week or we'll see what happens. All right, so we just want to let this dry. Make sure I have enough. Make sure I get the middle. So I'm excited for that. And then I think in November, I also have class, a watercolor class at the Queen's Inc. And class with Dina. So that will be fun. All right, so we're gonna let that let that dry for a minute. So just so I could uh, show you what I have, let that dry. I do have my heat gun, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's dry. Look at the piece of cardboard. I'll use this here. Okay. 
So I just want to cover, um, maybe we can even do it with the scissors, just some of this big pieces. Let's just do the outside so we can kind of see what, um, what that's going to look like. Is um, our primary wing class? It's in Canada. Yeah, we're going up. I'm going to actually see CC. Um, we're going to have dinner together Friday night, so that'll be fun. And it's an actual three day uh, class. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then where's Colleen? Colleen, did you see Art Bar Marlene's new Art Foamy stamps? They're really cute. <laughs> She's got um, an owl, octopus, some fish. I'm um, trying to think what else are the new ones. Oh, I think I have it on my phone. Yeah, I'm excited. This is her first time, I think, in the U.S. So hold on. Hold on a second. My phone's a pain. PETA. Um, there they are. So let's see if you can see it. So those are the new, can you see that there? The seahorse, there's a whale, a couple of starfish, fish, um, some seashells, an octopus, a little mermaid scale tail like, can you see that there? And a little shell. Okay. They're very cute, aren't they? So, um, yeah, so I think they're just coming. I think they're going to have them at the, the class there. So I'll probably wind up getting a couple. So maybe I'll stream. Let's see, I'm going to be here the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. So maybe like November 1st or something, I can stream and show you guys what we did in class. So. Bye, Dee Dee. <laughs> I'm just going to do this bottom layer so that you can get an idea what it um, will look like when we put the page through there. Another person that does a lot of this um, cutting out like this in your journal is, I think her name is Tracy, Tracy Scott. She has some really pretty um, flower stamps and stencils that she does hers with. Ugh. So look, it'll look cool on the page, I think. I can't decide what I um I want to try to leave most of the background white if we can. We'll see. And I used quite a few, I die cut some out of uh, Tim's new Halloween dies. I didn't get the one though that, um, is there one like with the pumpkin one? <sighs> Fussy cat, sorry. I'll just do, I'll just do this, these two so that we can see what it's like. It's not that bad. <laughs> I don't mind the fussy cutting, so. But like, just fast forward if you're watching on YouTube, it is a pain to see. <laughs> But it'll look really cool when we get it all done. Well, I wanted to show you my page, too, that we did with the Barbie. I wind up having, um, I was using a stamp, and the stamp fell, and it printed off on the one side of the page. So I didn't know how I was going to fix it. So I'll have to show you. See how cool that's going to look? That's going to look very cool. All right. So you get the idea. Hey, hey Teresa. I still have to. I decided not to put the embroidery on the dress. So let's see if I can show you where that is. 
So here, here was the page that we did last week. And I stamped, I don't know if you could hardly, you might not be able to see it now, but the stamp fell and went right on top of here. So I didn't know how I was gonna fix it. So luckily I had these gold rub-ons. So I ended up putting the gold rub-on on here. And then I just added this. I still have to put the uh, Dia de los Muertos in black, but I put the watercolor and I did her face. And so she came out pretty good. But I decided I'm not gonna do all the embroidery on her dress. Maybe one day I will, but not going to. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty dry. Oh, thanks, Colleen. <laughs> thanks, thanks, y'all. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take one of the, just a piece of acetate, and I think we'll go with faded jeans. We'll stay with the black and purple, just do the two colors, and then maybe we'll add the gray one in after. So what I want to do is I want to purple. I'm just going to wet this a little. Kind of just missed it. And I just want to keep these kind of in the middle here. See how that goes. Ah! Pretty much. I really want this to fade. That is. I really want it to be more separated. Let's see, maybe I'll do it this way. want it to be more like coming radiating from the middle to the center. There we go. Stuff on my desk that's all falling all over the place. All right. I don't know what I want more of. More of the purple. And I need paper towel. Hi, Norma. Welcome, anybody, anybody I missed. There we are. So it's kind of just in the middle. I think that's good. some of this area. Let me get this out of the way. And I got some of these dragonfly glaze paints, so we might try some of those on here as well. The one that I really liked was the one that was uh, Spectrum. It was like a blue-green, blue-green shift. Get it all? Okay. 
make sure my book's facing the right way. All right, so let me get my heat gun out and then we'll see if we need to add some more. Heat gun. Yeah, I don't want the background too dark. Hi, Billy. I pulled out some Halloween stuff, so we'll see what we're going to do with the background. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was um, the, <laughs> the stamp that I um, that fell on my page was the one that I sent the stuff on the tissue paper for you. Oh my gosh, it turned out good, so it was a really happy mistake. Hi, Vicky. wet in the middle here. Yeah. I was hoping Jennifer McCracken was going to be here and Cindy. I think it's their year anniversary. I forget. I think the two of them are together. Uh, I think I have a troll there, somebody. Oh, you did? Oh, that's good, Shannon. Yeah, let me get rid of him. Eileen, you see that one? Can you get rid of him? I don't know where he is. Let's see. Shoot. Okay, Patty, I think I got you by mistake. <laughs> I think I got you by mistake, Freddy Patty. <laughs> nope, I don't, he's still there. Joan or somebody? Can you please do something? I'm trying to get rid of this one and I can't. <laughs> Nope. Um, hello, where are my mods? <laughs> uh, I don't see, uh, do you want me to add as a mod? Yes, please, Kathy, I will add you. Hold on. Uh, There we are. See if you can do something I tried to do, but it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, 
Oh, it's probably been, it might have been me by mistake. Sorry, Sharon. I'm trying to get it. Nope, it's still, still there. <laughs> Can you get him, Kathy? You're trying. Yeah, me too. I for some reason I can't do it. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, whoever did that, Kathy. <laughs> All right. What a pain. I haven't had one in a long time, so I'm surprised that uh, that we have that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I have this old, this is an old um, Halloween word. And I think I used to sell these at like AC more. Sorry if I got anybody by mistake. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I tried to block him too, but he just kept, he was persistent, little booger. <laughs> so what I want to do is add some of this and see if we could do this maybe with um, a spray or something. And I want to do it very lightly. I don't want to get it, um, like have a lot. <laughs> that was an ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I'm looking for um, a spray. I'm trying to think what would be a good one that I have. Maybe a delusions. Let's try. I'll try one of these. Oh, thanks, Kathy. <laughs> that one's a pita. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to spray this on here. I'm wondering if I should use my spray. I might. Sorry if I got anybody by mistake. Yeah, he was. He was, a, he was Joan. He was hard to get rid of. Yeah, right? I mean, even if you didn't try to ignore it, he was pretty rude. There we go. But thank you, Teresa, too. I got the birthday card. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do is I have this pixie spray because I want the words to really show up. So just hold on a minute. I have to. Get it from here. Hold on, I'm covering it so I can reach. <laughs> and I need a piece of cardboard. Let's see. What I'm going to do is this is an um, adhesive spray. Thanks, Sharon. It's a pixie spray, and it's um it's repositionable, so you know it has a light tack. So we're going to try to spray this so that it will it will stay. I don't want to get anything on my desk either. So we really need to cover it with a big piece of paper. Otherwise, everything will be sticky. <laughs> Thursday is my birthday. The 17th. That's why you always see my number is Andrew 17. <laughs> That's mine. So hopefully we'll be able to move this a couple of times. I don't want to get the spray all over. Ox pigment? No, they're not. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to give this a light spray. You really should do it outside, but... I do have a window open. Right, so then this should stick hopefully. So I want Doesn't look like it's sticking too well. It could be too, because my page is still kind of wet. But that should be good enough, I think. Uh, 
around the room. Hey, CB, you missed all the fun. All right, we need um, this pack. I just used a pixie spray. I know, um, CB, have you used your pixie spray yet? I don't want to get the ink all over my desk either. All right, let's try it. And then we'll do this on this side. And I will maybe I'll just put this on this side. Oh, it's sticky on this side. I forgot it's still sticky. There we go. <laughs> so you can use it for several times, just not the one time. That part came out really good. All right, so let me dry this. Okay, done. <laughs> How's your arm, CB? Have you been able to do any arting? Nothing. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> When do you get the big cast off? Because that must be hard. Let me just wipe this off. All right. So I think we're good with that. Put those over here. All right. And so then what we're going to do now is have these one page. That I put on acetate. So that is so I want to see how we can put this on here. What I want to do is I want to put the mermaid um, on top so that when you flip it over, you could actually see her 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 skin, you know what I'm saying? Her bones. <laughs> Oh, thanks. All right. Um, let's see. I cut out quite a few things. So let's see what else we can use. The problem is, I have so many things that I really don't know what I want to put on here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where did I get the lettered stencil? It's an old one. Um, it's got to be at least, I don't know, maybe 10 years old. It's um, from AC Moore. It used to be basic grays to have a lot of that type stuff too. So I have that. And I cut out some of Tim Holt's new bats. Did you guys um, get any of his new, oops, I'll die down. His new bats. So we can use some of that. So I cut those out. So I wind up going to the stamp show. This is what I got. I got these. Aren't they cute? <laughs> it was a long way, too. Um, I didn't think the stamp show was that far. It was pretty far. I got that, and that was the only thing I bought. I really didn't buy any stamps or stencils, so, so that was good. That's the only thing I bought, so it was very, very good. Then oh, I bought. I have this window, too. We might put this window in here. Uh, I have to, just reading the chat. 
Hi, Kia. How are you? Uh, and then this was another die that I got. Isn't this cute? It's a little bow with the uh, mermaid tail on the end of it. So cute. All right. Um, let me just get my... All right. So let's see here. So I know I want to use this. I think I want to use this here on the, the main focal point maybe, but I don't want the skeleton head part in there. I might have to save this for another page. We'll see. Let me just cut this one out. Let me put something else in here. So we have that. You love this skelly? <laughs> He's cutie. Um, I have some of these old Jolies. So we might use some of these. I love this one with the jewels. And I thought maybe we would put some rub-ons maybe on here. Because I have too many ideas. <laughs> too many ideas and just not knowing. Oh, here's the new bats. All right, so I want those out. Just cut that out. I don't think we'll use that. I cut some leaves out. We might use those. I think I'll save the mermaid page for another page. And then maybe we'll just do something simple on this page. Can you see? Make sure I push you guys so you can see the page. Where am I here? My computer is like very slow for some reason. And so it's like giving me like jerky pictures. Like not, not jerky, but I mean it's like weird all right there we go that's better right i'm leaving next door <laughs> that's true cb those are like two new dies that i got though all right so i have the new window so let's and i already actually wanted to make like wood grain so i had a little wood grain stamp so let's try to why we might put the window over here in this corner i'm just trying to look for here my other pieces <clears throat> so i actually took some acetate and then put some alcohol ink on the back of it for the window so that we can put a ghost with some bats or something i'm missing a couple pieces though where is this is the top. I'm missing some pieces for my window. Nope. Now, here it is. There's one. I don't know if I can find the rest of them. Here's the other one. Two. That. I did the acetate. Yeah, I did the acetate and then I put uh, just blue, like blue and green ink on the back. And then I thought we could actually put some of these bats in here. So let me get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. I'm missing one other piece though there's another piece for the top here which I can't seem to find it's not this piece all right maybe we'll come across it anyway so so let's work on this first so I need to glue stick I'm going to actually put this down I don't know if I want this white piece or the dark piece. You saw a girl put a ghost in the window. Oh, that's cute. I was going to put bats in mine. Or I have some spiders. Um, 
We'll use this in the back. And then you'll see I have the, the blue part to make like the window, but I thought we'd put a couple of these little bats in here. So like, here's one, it's too big. That one. And that one, let's do those two. That's not the right piece. These are cute, the little bats. Let's see if I put another one. I'll put that one in there. Let's cut this off. All right, and then I'm going to, I'm looking for my window pane. I had it all, um, what do you call it, all stamped with the wood grain and now I can't seem to find it. Hold on, here it is. There we go. So there we go. So I'm actually gonna put some glue on this part for the acetate. that part out. Well, let's just see if that will hold it for now. Let's read the chat. Um, this piece oh, that away <laughs> darn it this piece on there you see where I did the top of the window there it is It has a little piece that goes at the very top, which I don't see in here. I really didn't want the dark one, I wanted the lighter one. There's one that's a little bit lighter, which I can't seem to find. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> <coughs> You have bats in your belfry. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I can't find the lighter one, so we'll just have to put this one on there. All right. So I am going to, I think I'm going to add this on this side here. We'll do this here. Let me get that to stick. All right, 
we have that. I think in behind here, let's see what we're going to put behind there. And then don't forget my little spider web thing is going to go in front of this. <clears throat> Might have to use some of these bigger bats. Yeah, Sharon. Yep, Sharon ordered something for me this almost every month. Yep. Yeah, I'm so still disappointed because my art Mar by Marlene stuff hasn't come yet. I'm hoping this week, but it hasn't come yet. All right, let's see what we're going to add here. <clears throat> oh, look how pretty that looks now. Remember, it was all black and now it's purple. It's not shiny. Can you see that? I don't know if you could see. Yeah, there you can a little bit. <laughs> it's cool. I have this. Yeah, my store, Paint and Figure Studio. Yeah. Let's see what else we can use here. Have some of these rub ons. I thought we would use him for this is an old Anna Griffin when she had her um, Halloween paper out I wanted to use that oh thanks Janet <laughs> so I thought we would use him so maybe we can put him on here I have some other skeletons too I like these rub-ons, so we're definitely going to use some of these. I almost... Oh, I can't decide what I want to do. I really wanted to do the mermaid thing, and then it just didn't fit this page, and so now I don't know what I want to do. Of these bats too, but they're too um, too thick for this. I could put some flowers on here. We have to find something to go behind that. I think that's what we need to do next. I like the little card. We could do that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the not the page I wanted. <laughs> tell you the truth. <laughs> Let's see what this is. what we have here well, that's pretty nice I like that or this one with the cat maybe we could add this one down here with the cat I don't know what I want to do. This frame should be bigger, much bigger. I really need like a girl or something. Let's see what we have here. I 
These are pretty cool too. These are old, way old. These were making memories. Um, if I can open it. I don't want to put Happy Halloween. Maybe just the pumpkins. What happened? Me patient? <laughs> CB? All right, there we go. You could put the pumpkins on the back or the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this page now. It's not working. Maybe we need one of these creepy people of Tim's. I know, I have too much stuff, so I can't make up my mind what I want to do. I really wanted to do the mermaid thing, but it's just, it's just not going to work out for this page. <laughs> so it's kind of what I had my idea. And then oh, we should have put this girl in the window. Peer, peering out of the window. <laughs> oh, we have the witches. To draw a pumpkin or some stuff. I don't know. There's a whole little gang. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do now. The background didn't come out the way I wanted to come out. And so it's like, ugh, I'm up in the air now. What I want to do. I don't know. Help me. <laughs> Help me. I can't figure out. I need like something big. I don't know what, but what? Let's see what else I have here. Hold on. Oh, here we go. How about this? Oh, here we go. Put part of that on there. Oh, I have some potion bottles and some potion bottles. Let's do that. Beware of the witching hour. I might have to take this off of here. Is this still on? We'll see if we we'll see if we use that. Maybe I'll just do this. Put this in the middle. Then what else? What else can we put on here? Witching hour. I have to put it on that side now. Cover up that hole. Yeah, this would be good. Let's cover up that, but I don't like the pink. You see this part here, that pink background? That's nasty. It's a struggle. What if we did half on the top, half on the top and half at the bottom? I think that's what we're gonna do. Now, do I have scissors? Oh, of course I don't have my cutter here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna cut this in half. Cut this in half. My ruler. Sorry, Eileen, I don't have my, uh, my what do you call it here? I'm actually going to do this. Pencil. Where do you get the clock? <laughs> it's old. All my Halloween stuff is old. This is from, I want to say my mind's eye, maybe it was from. It's old. Put this on here. 
Let me do this down here. Or down here. I just don't have enough room. I want to use these bottles too. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Because I have it from, from old. It's like Halloween. I, I kept a lot of Halloween stuff. And all right, let's just glue this down since I don't know what else I want to do. Uh, glue, glue, glue. What is this? Studies of leaf. Of course, I don't have my really good glue down here. Oh, gosh, it's so aggravating. <laughs> Yeah, CB and I, we love Halloween. We always have some stuff, although I've given quite a bit of my stuff away. Here it is. And I didn't even get to go to the zombie. The zombie walk was this um, this weekend, and I didn't get to go. I've missed the mermaid um, parade this year, and I've missed the um, the zombie one. Okay, so I'll just glue, take that off. I would, you would never cut the clock in half? <laughs> Why not? You have to sometimes, you just have to. It's too big to use all in one, one sheet. Let's see if I can cut this now all this way. There we go. We have that. We'll put this one here, maybe. I don't know why my camera is all the way over to this side today. There. And then let's see. We need one more piece. Maybe one right down in here. And then we'll just add one thing here, I guess, in the corner. Maybe we'll just, that's what we'll do. We do that or see what we have some other things here I know it's what can you do Joan sometimes it's just the way it is <laughs> if I just did a little piece maybe just take a little piece like this I wonder if that one would have been enough I think we'll add that on there. How's that? That look. So let's do that. And then we'll have to edge it in black. Right, so I'm going to put that on here, here, and then we'll cut this. I had this one on this side. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Sharon. Thank Kathy. <laughs> and then we'll add just a little piece here. I'm just going to cut straight up here. So I'll have that one little piece left over for what? I don't know. <laughs> we'll 
let's leave that there. You love the fence tie? <laughs> that was all for making memories. I think making memories. Came with three. It came with that, that, and the words airy, eerie. So I'm hoping my spider web will still look good on this page. Maybe I'll save it for my mermaid page. There we go. <laughs> All right, let me move some of this out of the way so that you can. I'll have to put some more tape on that. I'll have to cut this. I'll wait till I can move it. <laughs> I just can't move. <laughs> yeah, it came with this piece and then it came with this big swirly piece. All right, we got that done. The mermaid skelly looked one. I know, but it just, I have to do it. I need more time at that. Like I just, it's just, I think it's too much for, for me to try to do it on stream. I'll have to do it after. <laughs> I might do it on this page here. The one that we put the, this, I'll probably put it on this page. And then I'll do the, um, the cutout. So I don't think the cutout, I'll put the cutout probably in here. I don't think it's going to look, oh, it would have looked good if I would have had the cat in that one little section there. If I did it that way, yeah. Let's see how that spider web will go on top. So I think I'll save the spider web for the mermaid page when I get that done. I have to glue that part down. All right, what else can we put on here now? Now maybe we can use the witches. What they do with the witch? They might be able to go on this page now. I don't know what can we put on here though. We can't use this. I'll have to use this somewhere else now. Can we? Can we still stick that up in there? And my little tape came up crooked. I don't know. What do you think? You can still stick that in there? Bye, Carrie Ann. <laughs> Oh, let's see. I need some black. There it is. I really like these, but this really belongs like on a shelf. These these bottles. I don't think we can use that. We can't use the flowers. Well, let's get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> what's in the back of this? Oh, we might be able to use some spider webs. Maybe we'll do that. I wish the skeleton was the other way, and then we could have probably put him on here. Because he can't be sitting. Could be sitting on the pumpkin, maybe. Give the window wings. <laughs> we'll go somewhere. That's true. We could do that. <clears throat> All right. I have bat, we do the bat wings. We could that, do that, put that up on there. I'm trying to see if this skelly would look good on here. Let's just cut this out.
on the windowsill, maybe? Yeah. I have another skeleton. I gotta look for it. somewhere. If I sat him on the pumpkin, maybe. <clears throat> I might use this moon somewhere. The top bat in the window looks like eyes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I might use a half a moon. Well, how about if we put these skeletons? Well, maybe instead of him, look at these. These are some Jolie ones that I have. Well, we could put these little graveyards in here. Flying window, yeah, we're gonna put that in there. I wanna see if I have bigger wings though. Maybe I could stick the skeleton down in here. That one, I wish I had a third one. We have this one. Can you see that? Hope you can see it. Oh, those are cute there. All right, let's see if we have some better wings for our window. If I have some bigger wings. Awesome. How about these and the butterfly? Let's see. Oh, thanks, Eileen. I don't know you can't see. You see the whole thing? It's like a, like you don't have enough room here or something. You can't see the whole book. Am I pushing it the wrong way? How come my camera is so wonky today? Is that better? Yeah, you got the whole thing in there. Okay, good. Um, how about if we do these wings? Let's see what this looks like on there. All right, so do you like these wings instead? Or the bat wings? I kinda like those, because they're glittery. <laughs> Something weird <laughs> is that? Ah, my other little. Oh, there is another little hat here. Look, I'll put this one on the on the cat. Where'd that come from? Oh, let's see, do I have glue? Christmas cards, Joan? I'm excited. Three more weeks, we'll be able to open our gifts. Joan and I, we exchange gifts on November. What do we think? The butterfly wings or the bat wings? You like the bat wings. Bat wings it is, and cut the bat in half. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so no butterfly wings.
Okay. You love those? Which do you love? All right, let's see. Let's fix this wing up. How about that? One up and one down. <laughs> Uh, Halloween and Christmas are your favorite times. Yeah, looking good. <laughs> one up and one down. Or should I do them both the same? All right, so I really like that page there. Uh, let's see where it is. We need something though. Don't you think we need something? Like, I don't know, something else? <laughs> it's cricket. What do you want? Yeah, I put a cricket. Don't you think it looks so it looks like he's flying like that? Or do you want him straight? Straight like that? I like him kind of cricket. What do you think? There. All right, so we need something, I don't know. Something else. <laughs> yes, cricket. <laughs> okay. I don't know. What do you think about the half a moon? You like them crooked? Yeah, me too. All right. Could put the house in the background. Should have another bigger house. Oh, we're going to put some of these, weren't we? It's spider web with the web. Well, we're not going to use that. Or this. Right, let me just clear up some of this area here. A ghost? Yeah, maybe. I <laughs> can put the flying, fly, flying pumpkin. <laughs> I do the hocus pocus, hocus pocus on there. Might have to put another couple of cats on there. Another friend in the back. You're back, hey, aren't you? Welcome back. Oh, we can put some of these on there. Let's do that. So I don't think we're going to use the witches or this one. If he was flipped the other way, you could have him like sitting on top of on top of something. I have to glue that down better. The house, you like the house? I have a bigger house. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe that's where we'll put the big house in the middle. Do you have a wicked face to peer out from behind the clock? Hmm. I have to look. I'll put something heavy on that for now. I have a nice big haunted house. I think that's what I'm going to have to go look for. It's in my in the other room. So I think I'll put the big haunted house here. And then I think it's pretty much done. Well, let's put these ribbons here. Let's get that on there. I don't know if these will work either because they... Um, they're so old. Yeah, the haunted house. That's what I'm going to put on there. But I have to look for it. It's in, the other, in my other stash. So let's put this on there. Let me cut this off. See if it'll work. These are pretty old. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's coming right off. Wow, those are the easiest rub bones I've ever had put on. Wow, that went on easy, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Oh, my poor little hat. Cat hat here. I think I'm going to add these other cats on here. That got a kooky face on, doesn't he? We either put him down here. I put one on top of the window. How about this one that he's like scared to death that he's flying in a flying window. <laughs> Over it. Oh, thank you, Teresa. All right, so I'm going to look for my big house. My house will go here. I think we have that on there. Anything else? One, two, three. I'm thinking I just might as well just put this last cat over here. And then I'll edge the, um, I'll edge it in black. Oh, where are my other rub -ons? Let's See if maybe we can add this. We'll add these on here. So don't forget, so next weekend, I'll try to come on maybe like Saturday um, because um, I don't know what I'm doing yet for my birthday weekend. And then I'll be away the following week in Canada. And so we'll see. We'll have to work it out. I'm going to put that there. And then I'll cut this here. I'll add this perfect right here. Wow, these were the best robots. I don't even know where I got what brand that is. Where's my little stick? Oh, there it is in front of me. <laughs> I didn't put any glitter on here either. I might have to go back and put some type of glitter. See how that works. Oh, pull it up. Lost this little antenna there. All right, we got that down. We'll do this one side, so. Like the robots and the little black cat too, right? <laughs> There we go. So then I'll just add, and I'll take a picture and put it on Instagram when I'm done. Um, but yeah, might have to do one of these spiders coming down from here. So we'll see. So so that's pretty much the page. I'll get that there so you can see how close that one is there. How they look? They cute. <laughs> the little skellies.
<laughs> Thanks, AJ. Um, and then there's a little window. <clears throat> My little rub ons. All righty. So, thanks, Jared. Thanks, Eileen. That turned out to be all right. Not exactly what I wanted, but so next week, hopefully, I'll show you this page, this with the cutouts of that. <laughs> but for what I didn't, I had no idea I was going to be doing that. So, <laughs> so it turned out all right. <laughs> uh, thanks, Patty. All right. You put uh, the yellow stickles in the pumpkin's eye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Behind here, I'll put something. Yeah. Behind the pumpkins. Uh, all right. So have a good week. And like I said, just look. I'm not sure what day. I know well, if I come on next weekend or not, but I definitely won't be on the following week. So oh, thanks, Colleen. <laughs> thanks, Kathy. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week. And I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>